Okay, so so yeah. this this infection is not an issue, and and what and what if there would be some bacteria in a socket? I mean, we know we're not working in a sterile environment. So what exactly. is the? You know, it's it's the patient's bacteria. Mm-hmm. You know, there was a, in science a paper a year ago saying that the patient's bacteria are protecting him from other bacteria, from other people bacteria. Okay. 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 So it's important that we have a, a good bacteria. <laughs> great. Great. So, so you solved the problem of uh, disinfection or the issue of disinfection was addressed. And so how does actually dentin grafting work? So let's walk me through a case where you extract a tooth all the way to the completion of the grafting procedure. If you can, in a, in a clinical way, what would be the process? The, the, the process, you know, you first of all, you extract the tooth. And it's dirty, it has a calculus, it has... Sometimes you will look at the, this tooth and say, I get, get rid of it. You know, put in some material, with it, detoxify it. Okay. But if you take this tooth and you just, like, scale it by a tung- tungsten carbide, for the surface, remove the calculus. It's, it takes one, two minutes. And you can also, not only you, you can, you auxiliary, you, your assistant can do it. Yes, and she will love to do it. And, uh, and then immediately, you have a clean root, beautiful root, okay? Including the, ra- the crown, uh, including the coronal including part? The crown, because if you have a clean crown, if you don't have a, if you need to to get rid of, for example, of the, of a, let me just, oh, if you get, you can get rid of, of a, a, some, a, a, if you have a crown, or if you have a filling, a, a composite, whatever, this you have to cut out, because okay. those are, of course, material. But then you have, if you have a clean, and you have even, even enamel, Enamel is HA. It's mm-hmm. not inductive like dentin. It's not attracting the, the, the cells like dentin. Of course, it's a big deal. But it's also minor particles. It's like having hydroxyapatite. Okay. With TCP, for example. But here you have mostly. Then you have now a clean. You have to make it dry. And then you put a chamber. I think the, the most important our, uh, I would say, uh, invention or what, or the novelty in this is essentially the chamber. It comes sterile. You put the tooth inside. And as you have experience in three seconds, you crush the tooth into particulate. And then you have a sieve that will select for you the essentially the right particle size, which is above 250 microns. Mm-hmm. And if you, you know, I would say sometimes uh, dentists want to, to get rid of all the material in the chamber to get it down. If you have some particle size, two millimeters, it's fine also if you can put it. Mm-hmm. You don't need to be on the upper side. You don't have to be very, I mean, keen about having get rid of all of it. Okay, so if I may interject for one second, the... Yes. So there are two chambers that we're using. So should we use the small particle size based on what we talked about before? Is there any advantage okay. or disadvantage? Yes. Now, uh, if you use it together, yes. If you use it by itself, no. Okay, so okay. there's... Okay. Luckily, in this, well, and we found the, the right timing of, uh, I mean, of, uh, of uh, grinding, yes? Uh, the three seconds, okay? Uh, if you grind for five seconds, you may get more, the ratio of the small particles will be larger. This is what okay. we found. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for that. You see, I'm... I'm be- I'm glad we're talking about a this. Lot of studies. <laughs> yes, thank you. And 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 the questions I'm asking are really from um, a user's perspective because I use dentin grafting quite a bit in my practice, as you may know. 
Yes, I know. And I'm, I'm very happy with the results, but they're mostly clinical observations. And I had a couple more questions about uh, the dentin. So if we are missing the buccal plate or part of the buccal plate, and we're intending to use a dentin graft, we already talked about the fact that if we can avoid uh, damaging the papilla and the marginal tissue, we should do that. But yes. is there an advantage to use a collagen membrane or not? Hey, I, I would put it this way. In my practice, when I practice dentistry, I never used the membranes. Wow. So I don't have experience. Mm -hmm. But I will give you some tip about the dentin. Okay? Okay. That we, I did some studies. Now, there are people saying, you know, we use dentin, but we demonize it. Because the demonized dentin, okay, or decalcified, yes, remove the mineral and have mm -hmm. only the matrix. Because the organic matrix has BMP, has collagen, and it's very, very active. And the mineral is essentially like protecting it. So it's, it's not as active as the demonized, mm -hmm. which is true. This is true. But, as I said, when you use demilized dentin, then this demilized dentin, the whole matrix, will disappear faster. Mm -hmm. So this and why? Is a, why? Why is why, that going to happen? What you have in the area, uh, we call it MMPs, metalloproteinases. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Like which, are, which are what? Collagenases, for example. Yeah, right? they're degraded. And mm -hmm. also, you know, how much a growth factor will stay after the immunization before it's gone, inactivated. Seconds. Wow. Seconds. Yes. Seconds. Seconds. If it does not attach to a, a receptor, it's gone. Okay. That's, so that's, that's people that's talking about, you know, TGF, BMP. Okay. It, it takes, if you, if you, the BMP which is released, is not released sequentially, slowly. Mm. It's, it's, or immediately everything is released, it's gone. Okay. okay. So this is why I'm mentioning it. I'm mentioning it because when you have, and you want to restore the buckle plate, and this is important, and you want it also, the dentin to attach to the periosteum and interact with it, Okay, I would suggest to demilize, but for a very short period of time. We demilize it for two minutes, one to two minutes only. After the cleanser, we remove the cleanser. Yes, we add some EDTA, 10% EDTA, which we, we make up, and, and you can get it also for two minutes remove the EDTA, wash it with PBS, which you have, okay? And then you go and you graft it. Okay. Now you expose much more molecules, proteins, which are attracting periosteum, interact, and you will get much better, more, I would say, more connectivity with the bone and with the with other dentin, and I think this way we we may really produce buccal plate and not being resolved fast. Why? Because most of the particles are still mineralized. Okay, it's only the ten microns of the surface. So this is this is the this is novel. Oh, this is novel. So this is not yeah. the protocol that is currently utilized so there's right, no right. the difference is this is for experts like you that have already experienced a lot okay or so somebody this, that is experienced and wants to now to a little bit more like mm -hmm. you said i would like i can yes i think the dentin is today the most valid 